G'day Shaggers, I hope you are travelling well and have never been better. I'd like to formally, not only, welcome you to a new year, and thank God that last one is over, but far, far more importantly than that, I'd like to welcome you to a new direction for the Once a Kind of Time YouTube channel. Those that have been following me already would know that the past two years have been undoubtedly the most piss weak attempt at YouTube you are likely to ever encounter. For two main reasons. The first is that if you want to do YouTube, you have to be consistent. And the second is that if you want to do YouTube, you have to bring quality. My videos were absolutely shit ass, and I never actually uploaded videos. So it's nice to see I had those two criteria covered well. But so I am proud and excited to declare that 2021 at once the kind of time will be a far cry from what you've seen previously, primarily because there will be regular content uploaded, and it will be via two main mediums. The first, which you can look forward to every couple of weeks, is the return of the Dribble podcast. Now, if you're not familiar with what Dribble is, it's a podcast me and my best mate, Mickey Allen, launched in 2019, where we talked absolute tripe, absolute gibberish, absolute mumbo-jumbo, Dribble. We talked the most trivial of subjects and discussed them within an inch of its life. And we only uh, anticipated on being a bit of fun between us because we enjoy talking shit and our friends might listen to it and they might have a bit of a laugh, but we never could have anticipated you guys enjoying it as much as you did. So we will 100% be bringing that back in the next couple of weeks after I turn this garage into a podcasting studio, which is happening. I bought all the equipment with the furniture's arriving and that, uh, that'll be happening this weekend. But the other advice you can look forward to every couple of weeks, or every week rather, on the Once a Kind of Time YouTube channel is the weekly vlog, of which this is the first edition. So welcome and thank you for watching the first episode of The Real Life of Raj. So today is the dreaded day that absolutely nobody looks forward to after a holiday, and that's when you snap back to reality Oh, there goes gravity, choke is so mad, but he won't give up. The dreaded day when you go back to work. However, when the alarm went off this morning, I realized that I'd been coughing up phlegm all night. Um, and I thought to myself, gee, it's probably for the best you go get a COVID test here. But I thought maybe it was just a bit of asthma. Maybe it was a bit of casual asthma. So I went, I made myself some scrambled eggs, a bit of avo, a bit of feta. I whacked it all together via a bit of toast. I ate it, and uh, within about 45 seconds of consumption, that bad boy got regurgitated. And uh, look away now, uh, there it is there. So I think I am a little bit crook. Go get myself a COVID test now. I've taken the next two days off work. You do get a payment. You do get a nice little $450 for doing absolutely bugger all other than getting sick. So I just got back from the COVID testing drive through and I copped the old uh, cotton bud up the back of the sinus, but it wasn't anywhere near as bad as what everyone makes it out to be. Everyone bags on about it. Oh, it goes right to the tip of your brain. So make it out as if you're copping the full length of the devil's shaft up your left nostril, but it wasn't anything like that at all. It was a little bit uncomfortable, but it was fine. I actually filmed myself going through, but the doctor right at the end, out the corner of his eye, spotted it and he goes, mate, if you don't delete that, uh, then you won't get your results back at all. So I deleted it in front of him. But in better news, I got back home and I tried to start editing the vlog and I realized that my MacBook is about 12 years old and it is chocker block packed to the rafters full of as many porno viruses as you can possibly imagine. So I rang up my brother, I said, mate, I can't leave the house because uh, I'm COVID ridden, hopefully not, but maybe. Um, can you please go out to Apple to me? Oh, g'day Jenny, meet Jenny the parrot, how are you darling? All right, I'm just trying to do a video over here. If you could pipe down, show a bit of decorum, and I'll be with you shortly. Yeah, so I've sent me brother to go out to Doncaster to get me a brand new MacBook Air, and he's enough of a legend he's doing that for me. So we're going to do a contactless delivery at the door. Catch you, mate. It. Thank you. Now, while it is a sad day that today was actually the end of JobKeeper, I am no longer getting money every fortnight for free from the government. Have a look at what it's got me. Have a look at how far it's got me. I've just bought this brand new pop lamp for the desk table and it's an absolute ripper. Woo! So it's, um, it's Wednesday now. Still haven't got my COVID test results back, uh, which means I need to stay at home again. And usually that's not my go. Usually I'm more of a mind over matter type operator and you know, attack the day, still go to work and try and uh, not let the sickness bring me down. But obviously during COVID, not the right thing to do. You gotta stay home, but I can, uh, it gives me another day of uh, being creative hopefully. So, and I know what you're thinking. Don't, don't you think dare have a dirty mind and get the wrong impression. These aren't 
tissues that I've been sneezing into all night because I'm sick. These are what I've been ejaculating into because I've had nothing other to do than pull myself. So stop with your dirty minds. I would never sleep with boogers and snot in my bed. So I reckon if you were to build sort of a hierarchy or a pyramid of the greatest feelings of joy and elation that can possibly be felt by a human at any one time, it'd look a little something like this. I reckon at the middle tier, you have losing your virginity. That's always just, yes! Woo! And then slightly above that, I reckon you have, um, when you go to buy a pastry of some description, whether it be a meat pie, a sausage roll, or for the fellow vegetarians out there, perhaps a, a spinach and ricotta type operation, and they don't charge you for a sauce, that's when you just, you feel like you're walking on air. And then slightly above that, you know, another food related one, but when you go to the fish and chippery, and you go, yeah, I'll grab a, you know, a bit of souver, it's chips and a potato cake, you open it up, and they've thrown a couple of extra potato cakes in there, perhaps a couple of extra dimmies, and you're just like, it does not this is the pinnacle of life. It doesn't get any better than this, but it does. I reckon quite comfortably sitting at the top of the pyramid is when you just have one of the all-time weekends in front of you. You got your massive Saturday, you got a massive Sunday, you can't wait to launch into it. You've been thinking about it all week, and it rolls around to Friday Arvo, and the boss goes, all right, knock off early, lads, you're done. And you just go, right, we're set now, we're ready. Woo! Friday Arvo, baby, here we go. Tomorrow night, I'm lucky enough to say that I have a handful of people at least that I can quite comfortably call a best friend just because of how close we are. And tomorrow night is uh, a best friend of mine, Lara Winter's 21st birthday. So I've knocked off work. I've gone and picked her up a, uh, a pair of Peter Alexander PJs for the 21st. Um, I told the person rapping at the counter, I said to him, um, it's it's the best mate's 21st. Can you please rap it? You know a lot more about rapping than I do, I'm sure. I'm sure the craft is a lot more suited to you. So I'll leave the creativity into your hands. Use whatever paper, use whatever ribbons, go for it. I reckon they've assumed, which is something you should never assume in this day and age, um, that when I said a best mate, it was going to be a bloke. But um, so they've gone the green with a, with sort of a green and gold wrapping. Maybe I'm miles off. Maybe this is sort of a feminine sort of wrapping, and this could be something you expect a, a female's twenty first present to look like. Um, and maybe I'm more, even more miles off the mark, and and uh, it doesn't matter what colour you wrap someone's present in at all. And um, I'm, I'm looking a bit too much into it. But I got her the pair of Peter Alexander pajamas. I've been tasked with writing her a speech. Um, I've written it during the week, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna go, jump in the shower now, rehearse it, and hopefully tomorrow night, uh, when we rock up, we deliver the speech. I don't embarrass myself, and I put on half a clinic and do her justice, because she's one of the all-time lasses. Usually, Friday nights is a pretty sacred night for getting on the sauce with the lads. However, this weekend, I had to refrain, because every second weekend, we're lucky enough to be joined by my beautiful little sister, Cassie. How are you, Cass? I'm good. And who have you brought with you? Kirby. Say g'day, Kirby! How'd you come up with the name Kirby? From Mario. Yeah, I was always more of a Link person. You know, from Zelda, Link? With the sword, the green hat. Looked a bit like an elf, but cool. Anyway, it's up to you this weekend to choose what our viewing material is um, tonight. Uh, what movie, TV show, what are we thinking of watching? Hamilton. Yes, the <laughs> Disney musical. We've both seen it. It's as good as it gets. Yeah, if you haven't seen it already, you have to watch it. Do you sing us a song from it? Ah. Alexander Hamilton is waiting in the wing for you. Do you know the next bit? Will they know what you ever came? Will they know you wrote the game? The world will never be the same. We are feeling a little bit worse for wear this Sunday morning, if I am to be completely honest. I felt better. I have felt healthier. Um, but we don't mind that, because that's a sign that yesterday was an absolute belter of a day nighter, and it indeed was laser, put on an absolute clinic for a 21st, considering we're only allowed 15 people. Our old man's an open heart surgeon, so the house is absolutely gorgeous. We had Sammy Dale on the decks, sun setting, pool. It was absolutely ripping day night. Laser!
good. But uh, oh, it was, I was tasked with delivering a speech, and I think I did a decent job up until halfway through. Lara's brother uh, walking outside carrying the Freddo Frog ice cream cake, which, when it's 30 degrees piping hot, I'm not sure if Freddo Frog ice cream cake's the way to go in the first place. I love the Freddo Frog ice cream cake more than anyone, let me tell you, something for nothing. But having it sit outside, it gets very slippery. And it did get slippery. It didn't stick to the plate it was on. He's walking outside. I'm mid-speech, and I'm thinking, I've got family rhythm. You know, I'm just, yes, I'm hitting the punchlines. It's getting well received. And then, bang, everyone's pissing themselves. I thought, oh, I didn't tell a joke. That was that funny. What, did I? I turn around. Daniel Lara's brother has dropped the cake. He's dropped it. He likes something out of a movie. He's dropped it on the floor, and he's staring at it. He's shattered. Everyone's doing the whole thing where it's like, oh, that's hilarious, but do we not laugh just because we don't want him to get even more embarrassed? Everyone loves you. Yeah. Oh, and not one yes. one ever lied. Everyone loves you. It's so true. It's so true. It's so true. It's so true. Whether it's Wire. all my schoolmates, all of my footy mates, or all of my families, all of them meet Lara and walk away. <laughs> <laughs> But despite the raging headache I'm currently enduring, we are going for breaky with the captain, the skipper of the Banyal Bears Division 2 Reserve, Daniel Colson. Hopefully get on his good side early and ensure um, my place in the back pocket and ensure that uh, I'm, not, I'm not doing too many bench rotations for season 2021. Uh, this is starting to look rather ominous, uh, very dangerous. I have the feeling that we're going to have to send out a search party shortly. I'm out the front of the cafe, and I always get places early. I don't like keeping people waiting, but it annoys my mates a bit that, I, that I'm always early. But um, that's just me. I don't like being in a rush. And I'm out the front of the cafe with about five minutes until kickoff, five minutes until our nine o'clock booking begins. And there's no sign of Danny Goulson, which is fine. You don't expect him to be here five minutes early as well. But the danger is he hasn't been active on Facebook or Messenger or any of the socials for over 10 hours. So I have no doubt he's had an absolutely monstrous Saturday evening, which uh, you come to expect from the captain of the reserves. But he hasn't found the intestinal fortitude, the courage, the desire to pull himself out of bed, get down here for perhaps a scrambled egg, perhaps a poached egg, a skinny latte, a sautéed mushroom, a baked bean, perhaps some spinach, up some asparagus, maybe some avocado, who knows? He hasn't found the will to get down, so it might be a solo brekkie type operation, but we're still held, holding out hope. But uh, in five minutes, I'll be setting out a search party. It's not looking likely. So rather than send out a search party, I thought I'd conduct the investigation myself. It is currently quarter past ten, which means Colson was meant to be sitting opposite me for brekkie an hour and 15 minutes ago. I've driven to his place to see where he is. Uh, his car's here, which is a positive start. Means that he's more than likely lying in bed still sound asleep, feeling all sorry for himself after a massive one last night. So let's go, uh, let's go get him out of bed, the big man up, and make him feel bad for standing up, one of his best mates. I've been documenting the endeavor online, mate, on the oh. social. So, what have you got to say for yourself? No, I fucked up. Ah, well, happens to the best of us, mate. We're yeah. really an hour and a half late. Only an hour and a half. We still have time, mate. We'll go get another big brekkie. <sighs> So after one of the all-time mares of a Sunday morning for the great man Danny Coulson, the skipper of the twos, where he stood me up for a Sunday brunch because he had far too big of a Saturday evening, he's atoned for his sins, he's made up for his errors, he's redeemed himself because not only has he treated me, he's shared me a delicious curry at San Jeeves Cafe Spice in Greensboro, which is one of the all-time feeds. If you're ever in the northern suburbs of Melbourne and you feel like indulging in a bit of curry, that is the place to go. It is absolutely Moorish. Yeah, we had this one of the all-time redemption stories. Good to see you sitting opposite me, Skipper. Cheers for shouting, mate. Much appreciated. This is a bad time to tell you. I've forgotten my wallet. <laughs> I was waiting for that. I was absolutely <laughs> waiting for that. Um, not only has he done that, but he's helped me clean the whole garage. And I know it doesn't look that clean, but we had a bunch of shit in here we had for years. We moved it up to the front nature strip. Hard rubbish coming tomorrow because finally... 
We are turning this into a full-blown podcast and studio. I've already got plenty of equipment, but we've got a pool table coming in. We've got some neon lights. We're making it look a bit like a back alley bar type operation. So that'll be all, all be happening next week. We'll have episodes of Dribble up and going. Um, but that means the end of this week. If you've made it, if you may, managed to last this long, you watch this much of the vlog, while I do thank you and I appreciate you, I mean, it means the world to me, at the same time, what are you doing with your life? There's so much to see outside. There's so much to experience, even if you are on your computer. There's so much to learn. Why are you wasting time watching me do this? But I do appreciate it. Thank you very much. I hope to see you next week. But at the same time, you know, for self-improvement reasons, you should probably consider using your time more wisely. But thanks, thanks, legends. Love your work. Love you all, Shaggers. Have the greatest week of all time.